Every time you hear this sound, remember this. It all began, not in America, not in Germany, but right here, in Britain. The year was 1930. A young RAF pilot, Frank Whittle, looked to the skies and thought, We can go faster. While the rest of the world relied on old propellers, Whittle imagined something far greater, a jet engine powered by pure thrust, capable of breaking limits no one dared to touch, but no one believed him. The government turned him away, engineers laughed, so Whittle built it himself, in a small shed with his bare hands running on hope, smoke, and brilliance. Years later, when war darkened the skies, Britain turned to his creation. The jet engine roared to life, and history changed forever. From Spitfires to Concorde, from London to New York in hours, every modern flight traces back to Frank Whittle's idea. He didn't just give Britain wings, he gave the world a new way to move. One man, one vision, endless sky. But here's the question, why don't most people even know his name? Shouldn't Britain honour him like a national hero? Drop a airplane if you agree, because this is British brilliance and the world still runs on it. Follow the British Files to discover more forgotten British legends.